I would say a good first impression is that you have all your materials really kind of neatly organized and that you don't have to overdress and you don't have to underdress, but that you're very um, straightforward and clear and uh, that you show interest in the firm, whether you're interested in them or not, but it's always a good sign to show interest and to actually have done some research on the firm that you're going to go see so that you can understand a little bit about what they do. Um, that's always a good thing. I don't look at things digitally. So, I mean, if I'm meeting a person, I would rather just see the book and see the paper because I also need to understand the line weight of something because we do print a lot in, unfortunately we do. Um, and uh, looking at something on the screen I'll, sometimes even takes more time and I can flip through things in a way that you know, it's kind of anti-linear, not linear, but in a more kind of random way and stick on something and look at it and kind of pair things back and forth. So I, I prefer that. Um, so I don't look at things digitally. To make the world a better place. That's what it is, right? That's what we see, our, what we do in our design is to make the world a better place. So we're working on all kinds of crazy different kinds of jobs from an animal shelter for the city of New York. How crazy is that? you know, so making a better place for these animals. And we're working on ports, um, which are not like the wall in Mexico. They're actually welcoming at the Canadian border. Um, we're working on housing projects. So, but it's really more about, and, and that's why I like doing public work because I feel like I can give something back to the city uh, as an architect. And, and I'm very concerned and I uh, believe that design is something that is super important to make the world a better place. I think their work, their work, you know, I'm very interested in the work that somebody has done in terms of their own work in school, their own work coming from a graduate program. And in most graduate programs, people have had opportunities to do, not a th it doesn't have to be a thesis project, but projects where they've been able to um, position their ideas into the project, their own interest into the project. So I'm, I like to see what they're interested in and I like to see how they communicate that and how they, the process that they went through to create, you know, a final project. So which gets documented in the portfolio. So I'm, and that's why I think showing models, physical model, models, digital models, collage, um, drawings, you know, fold out, big, I don't care what, I just, I'm, and that it's really well organized, right? Because you have to, you're, somebody's looking, I'm not gonna read anything in the portfolio, by the way. I'm not gonna read those paragraphs. I'm really interested in the visual material.